Well, there are two things the SDSU football team has become really good at. Winning in November, where the Jacks have gone 10-2 and two in the last three years, and winning in the snow with big regular season victories in the powder against Western Illinois and Youngstown. And there was plenty of that in Bozeman for today's first round FCS playoff game at Montana State. Second play of the ball game, as we said two weeks ago against Western, Zach Zinner is amphibious to any condition. He goes 45 yards on the second play of the game. 7-0 SDSU, still in the first. Now 7-6. Have we mentioned that Zenner can also do some things catching the football? Yeah, you can do these kind of things. 69-yard touchdown catch from Austin Sumner, and South Dakota State's up 14-6. In the second quarter, MSU hanging close, much to Santa Claus's chagrin. This is Zenner for a seven-yard score. It's 24-20 State at halftime. But in the third quarter, Montana State takes their first lead when Chad Newell rumbles 12 yards. He had a big game of his own, and that gives Montana State a 26-24 lead. Who are you going to call? Not the Ghostbusters, but the guy in white. Zenner, 60 yards. Peace out, Bobcats. Jackrabbits take a 31 to 26 lead after three. Then in the fourth quarter, they do it with somebody else, Sumner, to Connor Landberg, his first career touchdown grab, and that's a beauty. And then with the game basically in the balance, Jack's up by eight. Zenner, get out of his way. That is how you put a Bobcat to sleep. 69 yards. Montana State would get a late touchdown, but it did not matter. South Dakota State for the third straight year wins their first round game, 47 to 40 in all that snow. They will play at, S at NDSU next Saturday at 2.30 p.m. There's Zenner's line, over 300 total yards offense. And he says, hey, we loved all this powder. You know, this is jackrabbit weather. We love, we love playing in this stuff and uh, think that <clears throat> played a little bit of a factor, but I'd put most of the weight in the scheme and the offensive line receivers blocking you just kind of said we just don't want to be here you know we want to you want, we want to make some noise and uh, I think we got the team to do it um, we just gotta you know keep working hard I, I give credit to the fat guys the tight ends all that but I, I would give credit to our offensive staff that uh, had them on their heels so and Zach did that Zach and Austin both did that so um, it, it, I think any day can be a Zach Center day, to be honest with you, because he's such a phenomenal football player. 